Hello friends, welcome to Sharon's Topsy Turvy Recipes. Today I am going to make Bhuna Jeera Mutton Curry. You can see I have taken one and half kilo mutton. So come on, let us start the recipe. While making the recipe, I will show you all the ingredients. If you like my channel, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, share. Put some mustard oil. I won't put much oil because the meat is very fatty. I will put half teaspoon hing. This is asphotida. Put the bay leaf. I have taken cinnamon sticks. 4 to 5 cardamom green cardamom and 4 to 5 cloves this also i will put in i have taken half kg sliced onions this also i will put in this bhuna jeera mutton curry which i am making it will be very different and different taste onions are turn almost brown now I will put in the salt according to the taste now I will put the mutton I will let the mutton cook and fry. While the meat is cooking one side, I will, I am going to broil the jeera for the curry. So in one pan, I will put some jeera. According to my measurement, I have taken all the ingredients so much of jeera I am going to broil it this is one cover of jeera I will broil this now and grind it on the grinding stone The jeera is broiled up. Now I am going to keep this aside and let it turn cold a little bit. And then I will grind it in the grinding stone. It is almost fried in this water. I did not put water the water which was coming out from the meat now I'm going to put the masalas this is ginger garlic paste this is jeera and black pepper paste which I'm going to put in and red chilies also ground in it Put in the saffron. Now I will fry the masalas. The masalas has to be browned nicely. You can see the masalas are browned up well with the meat. You can see it. Now I will put in the tomato puree which I have ground. I have ground the tomatoes and made it into puree. 
I will not use curd. Instead of curd, I am using tomato puree. The tomato puree also will be browned with the masala and the mutton. The tomato puree also is fried up with the meat and the masala and the meat also is cooked up because I have already put hing in it. If you put hing, it cooks up very well, soft and it will give it a different taste to eat also. Now I will put some warm water. You can see the meat is already cooked up, it's gone very soft. You can see it. So now I will cover it and let it cook till the gravy turns thick. The gravy is turned thick, you can see in the mutton. Now I will put some meat masala. Then put the broiled jeera which I have powdered it and kept here. This I will put now. Last of all, I will put the coriander leaves. Put the flame off and mix it a little bit. You can see the mutton is cooked up. Mutton pieces are looking so yummy, tasty, delicious. Bhuna Jeera Mutton Curry is ready to be eaten. Thank you for watching my video.